Hi and welcome to this I Teach Stamping video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super quick but still super cute birthday card. So I'm going to start off using two stamp sets, printed petals and sincere salutations. So like I said, this is going to be a birthday card, so I chose the stamp that says birthday wishes. And then I'm going to use these two flower set stamps right here. On my Whisper White, I'm going to stamp this flower in Daffodil Delight. This is our newest yellow, and it is rapidly becoming one of my favorite colors, even though I'm not a yellow person. But I love how bright it is. I'm going to clean that stamp, and I'm going to go into my Rose Red and do the same flower. Now you can overlap them, it doesn't matter. You just want this color on there more than anything. Okay, then I'm going to switch over to this flower. I'm going to do Certainly Celery. Alright, so now I have that part done. And I'm going to stamp my words. So this is our Early Espresso, our new rich dark brown. I'm going to stamp Birthday Wishes onto some Whisper White. And then I'm going to start punching. So I'm going to use the one and a quarter inch punch. And I know that it's just barely going to fit. Okay. And then I'm going to punch a circle, one and three eighths inch circle punch in rose red. Then I'm going to use our new big scallop punch in the early espresso. Alright, some other punching I'm going to do is with some more early espresso, and I'm going to use my scallop punch, my scallop border punch. Alright, so now I have all the layers that I need for my card. But I'm going to add in one quick little pop in there. Now that I've stamped this, I'm going to run it through the lattice folder, lattice embossing folder. So I'm going to tuck it into here. And I have my big shot right there. A plate on the bottom, plate on the top. Oh, let me get it lined up. There we go. Mine squeaks, and I call it from lots of love. It's used all the time. All right, so then I have that fun texture on there. Can you see that? All right, good deal. So now I'm going to build my card. I'm going to take my snail adhesive, and I'm going to put some snail onto some rose red, and this is just going to be for a little bit more pop of color. And this is going to layer onto my textured white. And then I'm going to start building this. I wanted it to kind of look like a flower, which is why I went with the really big circles. I wanted to kind of mimic those. Okay, and so then I can put that on my card. Okay, then I'm going to take some ribbon, and my favorite way to put ribbon on is with our mini glue dots. I just put a dot on each one, and this is vanilla ri ribbon, and you'll see why I'm using vanilla rather than white in just a second. So, now that I have that, I'm going to layer it onto... Actually, I'm going to, sorry, back up. I'm going to tie the rest of my ribbon. And then just grab my scissors and trim it up. I wanted to distress this card a little bit. So I'm going to take a little sponge and some of this early espresso ink. So then I'm going to just sponge it up. Just kind of distress the edges and over the top. So it's not going to be that bright white that I started with. And so that's why I went with a little bit different ribbon. Okay. So now my card is almost done. 
I just need to put some adhesive on the back. And you can see that I had already stamped these flowers before. So then I had either side to choose from. And just like that, I have my super quick, super fun, super easy to make birthday card. So I hope that you have enjoyed this I Teach Stamping video tutorial. All the dimensions for this card will be listed below this video on my blog. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And don't forget to order any of the products used on this card. You can go to iteachstamping.com. Have a great day!